Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Happy Sola. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Dead Sea Fried Rice. <laughs> I know you'll be wondering like, what is Dead Sea Fried Rice? Well, I think that's the name they call it. But I used mince meat for this fried rice and it really tasted so good. And guys, this is the easiest fried rice you'll see on the internet. Like, very easy to make and simple. All you need to do is just get your ingredients together. So the first thing I added to my pot is my vegetable oil. I added sesame oil. If you've not been using sesame oil to cook, see, this is your sign to start so now i'm going to go ahead to add garlic yes garlic all of you that is running away from garlic came eh? and you go out and you see you're eating in restaurant i ah, ate in this restaurant it was nice they use garlic to cook their food but when you start trying because i know i was in that position before i hated using garlic but really when i saw the glory of garlic i started using so the next thing i did was to add grated onions to the garlic and then i continued to stir fry it till the aroma start coming out and i can see that it is ready to add other items to it so now guys this is my minced meat that i made at home if you want to know how to make your minced meat at home i'm going to put the link above so just click on it i have a short video where i showed how i make my minced meat at home really i prefer minced meat made at home because it gives you this fresh taste i don't like that store uh muslim supermarkets but means me actually when they've stored it for a long time so if you are like me that you like to make your minced meat at home guys just try the recipe that i'm going to put the link here it's just so simple there's nothing there's no scenario it's not it's not too much drama so guys i'm just going to keep stirring the meat until i can see that it has lost the redness and then i'm going to season with the season listed in the video so i used um seasoning curry thyme and you know the usual now for um for our fried rice then i'm just going to keep stirring this until when i see that the oil is floating then i've washed my basmati rice i'm using this golden cellar basmati rice if you know it very raw um it's a very good basmati rice that i always recommend for people to use especially when you're making stuff like this that don't require too much of water and really basmati rice is just it's just too expensive but really i really love cooking with it because it makes cooking very very easy so i'm just going to stir everything together like this as you can see in the video guys have you guys noticed that we have a new sound like this is going to be the sound bed is going to be our permanent sound and thanks to oxy this is a very good friend who had supported this my brand from the beginning so you guys say, ah, Miss Ola, i want to make sound for you so that's copyright to knock in your youtube and i was like ah guy yeah, i don't have much help, so don't worry i got you now so guys i'm so happy that i have my own sound bed now so whenever you hear this you know that this is the episode that is cooking guys shout out to xy beast and i'm going to put his instagram and uh, in my um, the description below so please in case you need something like this or you need a voiceover service it does a very good voiceover so guys the next thing i added to my fried rice now that we have the fried rice that we are frying with the meat is um is uh, a panero pepper which i have grated already so that it can give it that spicy taste really it really takes the um pepper takes the taste of your food to another level like it actually adds a very very nice taste to your food so now i've added my minced stock since we're doing minced meat you can use chicken stock but because since it's a minced meat uh, recipe i just decided to use meat um, stock then i'm just going to add a little bit of water i know on tiktok when i posted this video on TikTok, someone was asking that uh why did i add more water Do really cook the rice yes this is basmati rice and honestly it's just so easy to cook and it requires minimal water surely when you're cooking a recipe like this i just think you should just go for basmati rice <laughs> so guys the next thing we're going to do now is i'm just going to go ahead to cover this let it cook for some minutes i think in the next 10 15 minutes we should be done cooking with this rice guys because it is basmati rice <laughs> Why do I keep saying basmati, basmati, basmati? Because I don't want you guys to go and try this recipe with another type of rice, and then when you not try it, you not say, ah, Bisala, your rice, the, the rice I cooked did not do, it did not do. You know me, I will tell you the ingredient I used. And you can see now, within how many minutes, the rice is done. So guys, there's always instruction on the basmati rice pack. Just follow the instruction, cook the rice according to the time stated on the pack. So guys, now I'm going to add my green uh, bell pepper, my red bell pepper, and then yellow bell pepper for the rice. So the reason why I didn't add it from the beginning because I want them to be very, very crunchy. Not like the one that when you added it from the beginning to have lost the 
crunchiness and it does not it does not work it does not work that way so now guys as you can see i've added my peppers and then i'm going to just go ahead to add my green onions and then i'm going to just go i said green onions someone said it's actually right to say green onions that people some people call it green onions okay sorry spring onions <laughs> so i'll just mix everything together and you can see that our rice is already taking its form and looking so yummy and delicious this rice is actually very very tasty you need to try it out it's a very good recipe for you to try out especially when you have people call like you want to enjoy yourself you want to chop the end of your life <laughs> just try this recipe out and i'm telling you it's very easy right it's something that you can just go ahead to um do with minimal minimal stress no no wala no stress nothing nothing just go to the kitchen whip something up and mm, you're yeah, good to go see sunday rice this type of rice you eat on sundays <laughs> and on special occasions well don't don't mind me i'm just trying to hype myself and hype the rice so guys what do you guys think about this recipe hope you enjoyed it and that uh, that's me tasting the rice like i need to taste the work of my hand now to know how far what did i cook hope i cooked it so well so guys what do you think about this recipe i'm sure you enjoyed it and kindly watch most um, some of my recipes that i've listed on my page and don't forget to follow me on instagram i am at the Abisola on instagram on tiktok i am at the Abisola everywhere i am the Abisola. guys follow my recipes um follow my page follow um follow share drop a comment please guys try as much as possible to be dropping a com dropping comments on my channel and you know i will respond to your comments everybody i respond to everybody and i just want us to be the community here i've been saying it for a while now like let's be the community here a very sound community on youtube here and i hope that when you watch this recipe this will motivate you to do so so guys don't forget to click the link um to watch how to make the miss meat i said and every other time let me know what you think about this recipe let me know what recipe you would like me to share and let me know um what you think like what other recipe you'd like me to share and what other things you like me to talk about on my channel i'll be in the comment section watching bye guys